All right, let's dive into a really fascinating tech matchup today. Go, the absolute powerhouse language from Google, going up against AutoHotKey, the secret weapon for Windows power users everywhere. Now, I know what you're thinking. These two seem like they're from completely different planets, but stick with me, because by the end of this, you're gonna see why they might just be the perfect team. So to really wrap your head around this, I want you to start with a question. Are you building a Formula One race car, or do you just need a Swiss army knife? I mean, think about it. They're both incredible tools, right? But you would never use one for the other's job. This single metaphor, this is the key to understanding literally everything about Go and auto hockey. Okay, let's pull back for a second and take that 10,000 foot view. What were these tools actually designed to do in the first place? At their core, they serve completely different masters and they solve completely different problems. And that's not an accident, it's entirely by design. And this slide just lays it all out perfectly. On one side, you've got Go. That's our F1 car. It is built for one thing, raw, blistering speed and power. It's perfect for the heavy-duty stuff like back-end systems and the cloud infrastructure that pretty much runs the modern internet. Then, on the other side, you've got Auto Hotkey. That's our Swiss Army knife. It is all about personal, user-level flexibility on Windows, letting you automate anything and create custom hotkeys to make your own workflow just sing. Okay, okay, so they're different. Race car, multi-tool, we get it. But here's where it gets really interesting. Here's the twist. Despite those huge differences, Go and Auto Hotkey actually share a surprising amount of, well, philosophical DNA. They kind of approach the whole art of coding from a very similar point of view. You see, both of them have what you'd call a function-first philosophy. Basically, functions are the main building blocks you're always working with. They also both really, really value clean, readable code. They try to get rid of all the unnecessary junk. And, get this, they both have ways to handle multiple things at once built right in. And they're both pretty smart about figuring out data types on their own, which just makes your life easier. It's this shared foundation that makes them feel weirdly familiar if you know one and you're trying to learn the other. But you know, that's kind of where the family resemblance stops. Because their differences, well, they aren't bugs, they're features. They're intentional, carefully chosen trade-offs that make each of these tools an absolute specialist in its own domain. And this right here, this is maybe the best way to think about one of the biggest divides. Go is like a strict parent. It's statically typed, which is a fancy way of saying it checks all your homework for mistakes before you're even allowed to run the code. It forces you to be precise. Auto Hotkey, though, it's more like your chill friend. It's dynamically typed, super flexible, and it'll let you try pretty much anything. But yeah, that might lead to some uh, unexpected surprises while the code is actually running. This table really just nails it down. Look at execution. Go is compiled. It gets turned into a lightning fast native app. That's the finely tuned engine in our F1 car. Auto Hotkey is an interpreted script. It's a little slower, but it gives you that on the fly flexibility, like pulling out the right tool from your Swiss army knife at a moment's notice. We just talked about the type system, strict versus chill. And finally, platform. Go is built to be a world traveler, running on anything. Auto Hotkey is a homebody. It's a Windows-only specialist and proud of it. So what does all this technical stuff actually mean for you? Well, it all comes down to one thing, picking the right tool for the job. These differences aren't just for show. They directly translate into what you'd actually use these for in the real world. So you pull out the Go F1 car when you are building serious, professional-grade infrastructure. We're talking web servers, high-speed APIs, anything that has to juggle thousands of things at once without breaking a sweat. If you need pure, unadulterated performance that can run on any server, anywhere, Go is your answer. And you grab that trusty Swiss Army knife, Auto Hotkey, when the job is all about making your life easier on Windows. Need to automate some mind-numbing task in a spreadsheet? Want a custom shortcut that cleans up your desktop with a single keystroke? Or maybe you just need to whip up a quick little graphical interface for a simple tool? That is 100% auto hotkey territory. Now we've been saying go versus auto hotkey this whole time, but here's the big reveal, the most powerful idea of all. What if that's the wrong way to look at it? The real magic happens when you stop pitting them against each other and you start thinking about how they can work together. Just think about this for a second. It's a killer combination. You use Go, the F1 car, to build the powerful, high-performance engine, a super-fast, super-reliable back-end service that does all the heavy lifting. Then, you use AutoHotKey, the Swiss army knife, to build a simple, friendly little dashboard for Windows. And that dashboard just talks to your Go engine. 
See, you get the best of both worlds. You get world-class performance on the back end with rapid, easy, flexible user automation on the front end. So when you get right down to it, the big takeaway here was never about which one is better. That's the wrong question entirely. It's about understanding the strengths of your tools and knowing when you need the race car and when you need the Swiss Army knife. It's all about context. You know, there's a quote from the source material that just sums this up perfectly. It says, master both and you'll have superpowers in two completely different domains. And that's so true. Learning Go gives you the power to build the very backbone of the internet. And learning AutoHotKey gives you the power to bend your own computer to your will. Mastering both? Now that's a seriously powerful skill set. And it really gets you thinking, doesn't it? This combination of a high-performance systems language and a nimble scripting tool is just so potent. So, I'll leave you with this question. What's another odd couple in technology that you think has a surprisingly powerful complementary relationship? Let us know what you think. Thanks for tuning in.